Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Atlas. I'm the Radio Man 03. It is awesome to have you along. <clears throat> Squatter's dead, and Mr. Potts has been left behind at the last island we were at. I've done it again, but this time it was with Mr. Potts. It just occurred to me in the video, <laughs> at the very end, and in the screenshot, he's flying there up next to me. And I whistled everybody on, but I think I forgot Mr. Potts. He is sitting on that island. We came to a different island. We're in a different place. We're in a different tile. Uh, we didn't come too far. We went from J10 over to I10. And we're right where we are right there. Now, just south of us, there's an island. And then there's south of that, at the very bottom of the I10, there is a island down there. And we have actually have a map for that island. Uh, right here, I-10. It's worth 4,700 gold. I want to go do that. And it's it's that island just south of us. If we could just go down there a little bit, we could do that. Then swing back and get Mr. Potts. I feel awful about it, but that's where he is. He's just flying in the air there, so he should be okay. He's got a bunch of berries on him and stuff. Um, so we'll let him fly, but what I'm going <laughs> to... Look at the crocodile. Big old crocodile out here being a crocodile. Holy crap. Uh, Squatter died because I got killed again, and he got knocked off my shoulder, and then he got killed by a cobra, and likely eaten by a cobra as well. Did you see that crocodile just come in here? We're slightly stuck on a sandbar right here. Slightly stuck. But yeah, there's a crocodile, and there it is right there. Level 20. Level 20 crocodile right there. Isn't that cool? I love how they move around. Had one jump out of the water me at the last island. Oh, speaking of the last island, since we're, we are going to have to go back there, you can see that uh, Kodiak's wearing his, uh, you know, his cart. Uh, we picked up a bunch of the roots, which was nice. Kodiak could do that real easy. And then we chopped down a bunch of trees and got a bunch of the um, aged wood. Now I'm thinking about actually putting a second uh, cargo container on here uh, just in front of Kodiak here. It goes kind of right in here. I think kind of where... This guy's sitting almost. Uh, health. Here you go. I'm giving them health just so that if they get shot, they could take an extra hit. I should probably have them in better armor, but I don't. Speaking of armor, um, I am going to try to wear this. It says I overheat, though, as soon as I put it on. It's not, it's not the right kind of stuff for this temperature, but right now it looks to me like I'm doing okay right there with that, so that's good. Uh, I was overheating just a little bit ago, but it's getting to be kind of the end of the day. So I think uh, the temperature is dropping, and that's when I kind of wanted to go in, was when it was going to be a little bit cooler. So I could wear this, and and I grabbed the sword. I, I learned the sword, and I grabbed the sword. The thing that's nice about the sword is that you can have the sword on one slot, and you can have your crossbow on the other. You cannot have the pike and the crossbow. It's either one or the other. It goes on four. So the sword is just nice to have. I'm not used to using the pike, and so I never thought about actually having it. I don't... The crocodile's way over there. We're good. Yeah, this is very shallow right here. I thought it was quite quite a bit deeper, and it's not. But there's a ruin here I thought we'd take a look at and see. Oh, look at this. I think we got some cactus. There's some cactus seeds, ladies and gentlemen. We got ourselves something brand spanking new right there. Oh, I also went and filled up the larder, too. Uh, there's wild chili. Okay, we don't want the wild chili, but we will take some of this stuff right here. We'll leave that crocodile right there. He doesn't have to be killed just by, by us. Let's get over here to the ruins so you guys can see this, and then we'll check out the rocks and the trees and all that good stuff. I have a feeling the wood and everything's going to be the same, because we are not um, in really a new biome. I think if we go up one more, it's a different kind of desert. It's a, it's a much hotter desert. This, the rocks are red. These are still kind of gray. But here we got a ruin. There's a buzzard. You know what I should do. I should really have... Oh, Shell Dern Home, ladies and gentlemen. Shell Dern Home. Uh, let's grab the cage off of him and put that on number five. I would like to try to... Uh, we got to get some of our stuff back. We're getting our kind of our butts kicked. Here's a buzzard. <laughs> Okay, level six female vulture. Behavior neutral, right? That way, if, if they get hit, or was it when I get hit? 
passive. I don't like doing that, but we're going to do it like this. We're going to go passive. You guys let me know. I think it's neutral. I think I'm supposed to leave them on neutral. And tsunami is on neutral, but I'm worried that they're going to come and attack uh, passive. And then if, if we see something come up and go after them, uh, we should be able to get out here pretty fast. You know what I need to do? I need to learn the whistle for that. I don't know the whistle for that. That's my bad for that one. Let's grab a few of these, and uh, we're going to need uh, rotten meat. Do you have any on you? You have 28 rotten meat on you? Okay. How about you? Rotten meat. All right. Let's get a buzzard. It's a small one. It's not a big high level one or anything like that, but we, we can go ahead and get it. And at least we'll have this to show for something, right? I mean, come on. Where are you? I'm using my pick so I don't kill it, in case you're wondering. And then we're going to go number six. There we go. All right, beautiful. Oh, it's only going to take a couple pieces. Only a couple pieces. And we'll have a buzzard. <laughs> so, I'm going to take advantage of anything I get my hands on right now because I am losing stuff left and right. I'm dying like a madman. And there's still the fight music going on. It's very dramatic. And it shouldn't be going on right now. <laughs> I don't think it should be. Oh, there it goes. I think it's fading. I feel like I'm yelling over it. Sorry. One more piece. 24 and we've got oh yeah you would do that we got a 124 left I think I heard this door creak where is that foot feed thing There we go. Uh, oh, look, at she's actually kind of pretty. Um, how about we call her fancy? Yeah, look at that. I like that. That's pretty cool, huh? She's got actually some pretty nice colors. Now, the thing, what she does for me, and you guys taught me this, and thank you very much. As always, check out the comments. Good stuff in there. And we can pick up the cage, which is really nice. Boop, there we go. Um, she will help me clean up animals that we kill. I've watched them do it in the wild. We've never actually done it with one of these to see how it works, but, um, that's what she is a benefit for. She can kind of help you clean this stuff up. Ooh. Uh, let's check the rocks really quick, see what we have here, so you guys can see before it gets too dark. Uh, yeah, this is the same exact stuff as we had on the last island so far here. We do have a new food, which is nice. Chert. Uh, I wouldn't mind looking a little bit more on the island for, um, if there were some pure co copper nodes, that would be nice. I think if I'm in third person, or first person, this will work a little bit better for us to see. What do we got here? We got some white flowers. That's parsley. Oh, that's actually really good. Okay. Well, not parsley. No. I was thinking more like the, the celery is really good to get a hold of. If you didn't know, celery is pretty good for the recipes. Here's some different plants right over here. Let's see what this is here. Okay, bilberries. We picked up a bunch of those. That's what I was going to tell you about. We have a bunch of that stuff, the food things, in our um, uh, larders. I grabbed up a bunch of the... Um, what did we find over there? A bunch of the, the different plants that were available to us, including the, uh, the, uh, the chili and the chili seeds. What do we have here for wood? Let's see. Aged wooden roots. Okay, so yeah, I think we're going to have to actually go up a tile and over to see what we actually have going on. Now... Just out of curiosity. <laughs> You're pretty cool. Yeah, you can't throw them on the ground. Uh, fancy. Uh, is, there, is there a harvest? I 
neutral. Kodiak, we should put you back on. Attack your target. Oh, there's a crocodile right behind us. And behavior. Attack your target. There we go. There's a crocodile down here just off the beach from us. Just looking at us like, hey, what you doing over there? Stay away from me, Croc. You leave me alone, I'll leave you alone. I don't have to kill everything I see. Chili? Yeah, we're still in Chili over here. Okay. Let's go down the beach a little bit. Sun's, we're, we're chasing the sun right now. It's getting dark, I know. I'll take off when it gets dark and then I'll bring you guys back. Oh, here we go. Is this flake salt again, I bet? Okay, yeah, we're not really finding anything new in the resource department so far. Uh, other than the, uh, the cactus seed, which is cool. Well, here we go. What's up here? You know what we don't have on the ship is crystal. Okay, I see a cobra down on the beach over here. It's probably very dark, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and um, take our take Fancy back to the ship and put her on there. We don't really need her on our shoulder. She's not benefiting us at all, and I'd rather her not die. I'd like to actually get her back to base so we can have her just to, just for fun to look at and have have at the base. So I will come back. Welcome back. Wanted to show you what I was picking up on the other island that I didn't talk about. Uh, first, we have the chili. And then we have the bilberries, so I grabbed a bunch of those. And then we've got a bunch of the poppies. That's what I was talking about, the poppy. And now we have cactus and fancy. I like fancy. <laughs> I do, I like that. Uh, we got a bunch of this, I bet. Yeah, there's some seeds. And then the cactus, we want uh, some of those. We can grow our own though, which is really nice. And what do we got? We've got plenty of chili seeds. Plenty of those. Plenty of that. Oh, what do we get here? Oh, I didn't see us picking that up. I'm not quite sure where that came from, but that stuff is heavy. Yeah, that stuff is really heavy. So we got to put that in storage. Yeah, we'll put that in the workbench right there. And then we've got just some... We'll, we'll drop the cactus for now. Drop that and that. And then we can put this on Fancy. And she'll be loving that because that's what she likes. Good old rotten meat. You get a level, huh? All right, let's give you melee damage. Mm-hmm. Just... <laughs> okay. Oh, man. The animals. They all got a little something, don't they? Let's throw some of this in here. And the cactus seeds. Where was I putting the seeds? I want to say I'm putting them in one of the crates here. I don't know why that stuff's in there. Oh, here we go. So cactus seed. We've got plenty of these guys, but that means we can keep some on the ship just to use for our medical kits, which is a pretty good deal. And this stuff I think I'm going to go ahead and throw in here uh, just for crafting things down the road. I think that's probably a good spot for that, but why do I have this stuff in here? This is weird. I think I was just dropping stuff one day and didn't bother to put it away right. That, that would be my guess. That would be my guess. Uh, so that's what we got going on downstairs, and then, uh, really, I think you guys are pretty much up to speed on everything else that's going on around here. I'll just throw this stuff inside the workbench. There we go, and we got a little bit of supply of stuff there. Our weight right now is at uh, 86 out of the 1,600 available. I have put a couple of levels into the weight to try to get that up a little bit. I'll probably do a few more. I would love to get the ship up to about 1,800, 18,000. Uh, so it would be able to hold quite a bit because like I said, I would like to put another cargo container on the ship right here. I'm not sure if I even want to stay here much longer. Um, let's take a look at the map. I, I, I don't have... Uh, I don't have a lantern. I should make a torch. Let's come in here. All right, and map. There we go. Now it's probably too bright. If we head south over to south uh, west, if we go southwest, we should bump into the island that's going to be that map. We could get that. And it really kicked, I kicked myself in the butt right now because then I've got to backtrack. 
which is okay because we got to go that way anyways. But then I got to stop at the island again to pick up Mr. Potts. We got to get Mr. Potts back. Now, I was also thinking to myself, we do have another monkey. It is up in uh, M8 where the gem is up there. Uh, upper right hand corner there m8 so the gem we actually have an elephant there we have several boars and we have uh another monkey uh sitting there but uh, i really think it's going to be pretty easy for us to find a new one uh anyways so yeah there's that uh i did not put a bed on this island because i'm seriously thinking about not staying here for very long uh and uh, nope all this stuff wants to click together do i show up on the map as a ship I do. That's one thing we're going to start watching for. You see the... I don't know if I could, you could see it in the last episode, but there's a red X there with the, the ship, and it says Revenge on it. It's very small, I know. It is the correct way it's supposed to look. That When we got killed and then disappeared, it was because all I had on that screen was a red X, and it lost track of the ship. So we want to make sure we have that ship showing up on the red X. The only thing I could think of that I want to get off this island right now is flake salt, to be honest with you. Um, it'd be possibly worth going up on some of these cliffs to see if there's any crystal or gem up on there. The last island didn't have any, but that doesn't mean anything. If we were to go off the island this way and go around that direction, why don't we do that? That's probably a good idea. Uh, just to give it a look that way. We went the other way a little bit, uh, and we'll go back the other direction a little bit too. The sun's coming up, so we might as well head out. The day is young. We're going to have to kill a crocodile. I can tell right now. Let's go ahead and kill it. Sit down and get the kill. There we go. Just works out better that way. We don't have to think about it. There's something over here on the beach. I know it's it's dark still. The sun is coming up. It should be getting bright here pretty quick. Oh, oh, that's right. He's got all the sugar on him. Okay, so this is something we got off the beach. Yeah, that stuff is really, really heavy. Um, yeah, let's get that put in the car. Oh. Uh, it's good though. Uh, we could use another one of those kinds of things. So this is excellent. We'll grab up some of this and put some in the cargo container. Yeah, see, he's already overweight and it's just been a few swipes for him. It doesn't take long, for sure. I think that's probably enough to get me by too for a little bit. Yeah, that's quite a bit of sugar. What's his weight anyways? Yeah, see, he's already half full. That's that's a lot of weight. So let's keep going. Hopefully, I'm hoping that one of these islands is going to produce us with some uh, uh, wheat or corn. But I think I've got to go up a little higher in, into the... I guess the... This says it's low desert, but I, I think there's just a... It's closer to the center. And it's a little bit hotter. What do we got up here? This is this white shiny. Yeah, these are these are just all flint. Uh, what about these orange ones here? Let's see. This is probably sandstone and shirt, something like that. Yeah, sandstone and shirt. Okay, so yeah, unfortunately the resources, a lot of them are the same. Now, granted, I I know we've not combed the island. I know that there's there could be a few different things on here that I've not found. Uh, but for the amount of time I have to play and to, oh boy, make things interesting, we've got to we got to keep moving along here. That's interesting how I can't hurt him if I hit him on the head. But not tsunami man, she just rips to pieces, just rips him to pieces. Oh, I hear a snake. It's cobra. What the heck? He's acting a little weird. 
I won't, I won't lie, Kodiak is acting a little bit strange. I feel like some of these pointy rocks are the metal nodes. Let's take a look and see. I'm just, I'm really curious about this. I feel like that's a metal node, but it's not. Okay, it's just, it's got that shape of the iron from last season on our island that we were living on. All the iron nodes had that kind of a pointy look to them. Oh, look it up in here. This is pretty cool. This is like borderline cave right here. I'm not seeing anything on the edge of the mountains either, like it, you know, has fallen off the top. Uh, I saw a different tree. Where'd it go? This guy right here. Aged wooden roots. Okay, so no. So far, no. You guys can't really hear it in the video, but I can hear Tsunami behind us, so it helps me from knowing she's actually behind me there. Snakes, man. Dang. They're everywhere, I tell you. There's a raven walking around. I wouldn't mind having a raven. A raven gives you smarts. That's right. It gives you smarts so that you can uh, craft things, I think, cheaper. Maybe faster. Cheaper. But they give you some smarts. I think it's um, just better quality things. Hmm. Well, there's an ostrich. We haven't seen one of those down here yet. Waiting for when the lions start to show up. Another buzzard. Oh, level four. Level four ostrich. No. Nope. Not what we're looking for. I did look at this right and it said it was chert. Yes, I did. Okay. All right. Um. Oh, it's a dead cobra over here. Level 18 female. Yeah, see, this isn't the this isn't quite the desert desert yet. This this is a beautiful area though. I think this is really a nice area. I, I kinda like this better than where we are, although we are taking our island and we are creating the amazing thing on the island. It doesn't have its own natural beauty. Although the mangrove trees I think are pretty cool. We're going to cut through the middle here and see what's going on in the middle here. Always a good place to go. What is this right here? These little brown bushes. Okay, I got jute looks like. Let's go ahead and drop a bunch of that stuff. Uh, yeah, that works. <laughs> I've been hearing that every now and again where just something sounds like it dies and goes splat right next to me. I don't know if there's something in like a bug or a sound or something, but every now and again I get that that noise. Did I tell you how I died from, from Squatter? A alpha seagull. I thought, yeah, there we go. Well, it hit me one too many times and I died. And Squatter got thrown off my shoulder, of course. And by the time I got back, a cobra in the area had already uh, dealt with Squatter. So it was 100% my fault, yeah. I'm, I'm batting zero on this particular journey out. And I'm having a heck of a time. Parsley and Bilberries getting through this area. What the heck? Can you make it, Tsunami? This is ridiculous. This is hardcore. We're not getting through this one. I can tell you that much. Let's go number one. Let's grab the copper up. Have a little bit of metal. It's never bad to have a little bit of metal, right? And we'll keep the we'll keep the, the chert too. I don't know if it's different than the one we have. I, I don't know that it is. Uh, I'm gonna drop the stone though. Oh, uh, and you're fine. Okay. This is beautiful back in here, huh? This is really neat. I like this place. 
These rocks are really cool looking. They're very... Um, I don't know what the word I'm looking for. But they're just... These really neatly shaped boulders. I like all the lines in them. Gives them quite a bit of character instead of it just being a smooth face. Oh, there's an alpha ostrich. Dang, what level are you? Oops. Level 249, male alpha. I will kill anything that comes after me. I think it would, too. Oh, there's a wolf. And a snake. And there's a wolf. Hmm. Let's just go up here a little bit. Oh my god, are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my gosh. How ridiculous. You poor thing. Makes you want to shoot it so it jumps. Gets down on the ground where it belongs. Got all kinds of stuff dead up here. There's a seagull, a scorpion. There's a crow. I never feel very comfortable about coming up on places like this in games. I always feel like there's going to be some kind of problem with it. There's some rocks up here, though. We're going to be doing this exploring thing for a little bit here. I want to... Oh, there's some more elephants over there. Oh, that's a rhino. Ooh, a 22. A 4. They're mate boosted. But look at that. They are stuck stuck. Let's go up there. I feel like I need to go up there and see what's what's going on up here. Here we go. I'm gonna go for a little climb. We'll hit this first ledge and then we'll go up on the next one. Yeah, I do want to go. I wish I had not forgotten Mr. Potts, of course. But I feel like I want to go up to that upper area first, that the next tile up after we do the uh, treasure. to um, just make the, the, the 4,000 would be so sweet. That would get us set up pretty darn good. Uh-huh. What have we here? Reminds me, I never reloaded this thing. Uh-huh. What, what do we got over here? We're gonna have to deal with this. There we go. Nice. Let's get our arrow back. Our bolt. Our bolt! Okay, there's something up here. Let's see what this is. Nitra. Nitra? It's a form of coal. Hmm. I bet it's heavy too. 337. Oh, look what else is up here. Oh, interesting. Okay, we got some copper nodes up here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to drop the copper. I know, I know. What? <laughs> but I am. Okay, so we've got copper nodes up here. Let's walk a little further and see just how many are up here. Now, this is not very convenient to get to, but that is definitely copper there. This is the nitro. Night? Nitri? I'm going to grab a, a, just a, whatever a stack is here. Now, what would be the best way to get this stuff down from here? I, I imagine maybe there's a ramp that comes all the way up here. And you would be able to ride you know, up here with a cart to get this because it is um, pretty sweet. I wouldn't be surprised if there's not some of this down at the bottom of the hill too. I've never heard of this material that I'm aware of. Let's see, what do we got? Uh, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do one more and we'll take that with us. 
my weight is just a little over half. I should be okay. There we go. Since I don't have a squatter or Mr. Potts, I'm making sure that at night I go in down by the larder, get some food, I yell, and get my, uh, my health down, my food down, so I can fill it up to keep my vitamin buff on. <laughs> okay. Look at that, huh? How's that for perfection? Right there, bam, we're here. Beautiful. All right, look at that. How are you doing for weight, buddy? Okay, you're doing just great. Okay, so let's see if there is a way up uh, from down here. So they, Because this could be a really a great island for somebody so far. I mean, we have fruits, we have vegetables... Uh, you've got some interesting animals to tame for sure. Hmm. Not so sure we'd be able to get up there, but it looks like maybe there's a little bit of this down here. Maybe. Doesn't look like it. Delicious. It's an ant snack. Oh, wow. Maybe around that way. I'm not going to go up and see, but yeah, I'm wondering if you get up there. Otherwise, it'd be kind of a pain in the butt to get your stuff. I guess you could build like an elevator here to bring your tame up with a uh, cart. That could be kind of interesting as well. Just as a thought there. Make kind of a fun base, huh? Oh. Okay. All right. Um... That's good. I'm glad we went up there. We found a little something extra. Yeah, just those boulders up there looked rather suspicious. All right, I'm going to go back, and I'm going to jump on revenge, and I want to go down and see if we can't get that treasure. I really hope we can get the treasure. Oh. 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 Oh, snake! <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> oh. Oh, the carnage. Oh, my gosh. Oh, okay. Everybody's okay. It's dangerous down here in the desert. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. I was bummed about the wolf. I was kind of thinking, oh my god, it's a 31 wolf. I never see high-level wolves. And then, um, well, that happened. <laughs> okay. Oh, I had not turned off record, and I'm glad I hadn't. So we've set off. Uh, you got the sextant buff. I missed one of the stars. Just could not figure out where it lined up. But um, you could definitely tell we have some extra weight on the ship because I can't get up past about 11 knots right now. And the wind is kind of actually doing pretty well for me at the moment uh, we've got a pretty good wind I've got to turn to the southwest after we get around this uh, the edge of this here island here but um, yeah so I'm starting to feel the weight so I don't know maybe a second shipping container is not such a good idea I don't know uh, what do you guys think it's gonna slow me down a little bit more too I've got the the diving platform on I thought you know we might as well have that on because I do want to use it while we're out here to just do some of these shipwrecks and get some of the stuff off of them as well. Um, and we can definitely do that. So why not do that and get that treasure also? I've actually come across quite a few sunken ships that I could have just stopped at real fast. Dove down, grab the treasure, come back up and off we went, you know. Um, it's a little bit of something and it's fun to do. I really enjoy going down into the ocean like that. Uh, but that's our island dead ahead uh, straight down this way here. That's the one we're looking for anyways, so I've got to go to the southwest a little bit, and I don't know what that's going to do for our win. So far, we're doing pretty good. Yeah, I'll be back in just a couple minutes, but that's our destination. I don't know if all you guys can even see it uh, out there, but uh, that's where we're going. I don't know if I mentioned it, but I realized that the diving platform is like a reduction of 10% speed, as is the cargo container on here right now, so... Uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned that when I was talking about the weight of the ship. 
Uh, I think our weight is pretty good, actually, now that I think about it. It's mostly because we have a couple of platforms on here, so maybe that's a good reason not to put another cargo container on here. We have that cargo container only half full, so uh, we've got some room to put in there some other stuff so I'm gonna see how this trip goes and then I, I think I want to head back uh, and get the galleon going we've never had a galleon I've never built one I would love to experience that and then take one out on the sea and do a little traveling on that would be a really good time as well and we could work on the base a little bit more too I found a shipwreck we got no wind I was going to the wrong island by the way it's over here <laughs> It's okay, we have to sail this way anyways. But yeah, the wind is definitely not my friend anymore in the direction I have to travel. But uh, we'll work it out. We'll get there. But I do have a treasure here. It's getting dark. I don't like that idea too much. But uh, it would be worth getting it, I think. We'll see what level it is once we get up to it. I've got like zero wind now with me. Quality three. It's pretty tiny. But I'd be curious to see what the water looks like here, because I don't know. So, we have no ships to the damned around. We're good to go there. Okay. All right, good. I hold C. There's a shark, of course. Oh. Swordfish. I do not have a lantern, which is going to be a problem once we get down here, I think. Okay, there's the treasure right there. Oh, it's very hard to see. I know that. It's probably very dark. Here's our treasure. Can't see it, I know. 51 gold. Eh. It's not fantastic, but it's something. So now just straight up space bar. Boop. 51 gold. We did a treasure. That's good. Very nice. A little bit of cash in the pocket. We can hit X. Oh, 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 oh. What's this? Oh, I put that right on top of my ladder. Not a good idea. Gonna have to move that. Or the ladder. Sounds like we got a heat looks like we got a heat wave coming on. Oh we do. We have a heat wave. Oh boy. Okay, that's not good. Is it gonna be nighttime or is the sun I think the sun's just coming up, isn't it? Inventory. No, the sun is about to go down, which is going to save my butt. Mm-hmm. Save it. Drop that in there. Yeah, for sure. Okay, I'll be back. I'm going to head over for the island. There's our treasure map right there. On the shore. Fantastic. That's a good thing. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and anchor here. And then I'll bring you guys back and we'll go in and uh, fight the dam. It looks like it's right on the edge of the water. So hopefully we can pull this off and get that treasure. It would be really nice. I'm going to get shallow really fast here. I almost, <laughs> I was sitting in here overnight, I almost just reached up and swung at this without looking at that, it says wild alpha crow, male alpha crow, <laughs> almost, didn't do it, glad I didn't do it, sun's coming up, we're going to get us a treasure, yeah, we're going to go get us a treasure, uh, looks like there's a dead ray on the shoreline right there as the sun's coming up, possibly, I don't think this is very deep all the way across here, we're kind of stuck a little bit right here but you know it's, that's okay we should probably take this off of Kodiak 
Uh, oh boy, look at this. I don't have him cleaned out. Uh, oh, let's let's do this real fast. Uh, we're gonna. Oh, we don't throw that out anymore, do we? Not until we get enough on. Old Fancy over here. Fancy's got to have her food. Okay, the, the crow got loose. Okay, good, 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 good. All right, you got a level, huh? There you go, sweetheart. <laughs> I just think that is amazing. I love the bob. All right, there we go. All right, beautiful. Okay, we're going to put that in there. Nope, I don't want the water open. I want you to close. There we go. I might have to move those water barrels because they do that all the time. And do we have everything out of here? We don't. Okay, let's do this. Demolish that. And we're going to take and swap him out for that. Alright, beautiful. Uh, I'm actually going to leave this stuff here in our personal chest up here behind us. I think this is a good spot for it. I don't see us taming anything. Uh, the bow and arrow we don't need. We don't need that, but we do need... Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Did I lose that? Ooh, I may have lost. Mm, I think I lost a shovel. Shovel. Thank you. And that's why we have what we have here. I got meat in here? <laughs> I don't know. You know what I think it was? I think it was fish. I think I threw some fish in here. That gross. I bet we've got another shovel laying around here somewhere. No, maybe not. Okay, all right. Uh, health kit is on the bar. I've never done a fine treasure map, so we'll see how this goes. Do I have everything I need? I think so. Oh, we we're going to drop this dead meat on uh, Fancy here. Oh, we've got more dead meat. That's right. There we go. She's got plenty of food now. Uh, let's get a drink of water. And let's go ahead and fill the skin up. And, that, and uh, we're good there. All right, beautiful. And close that. Thank you very much. 3,220 units left in there. All right, I think we are ready to go. We need Cyclone. We need Tsunami. And we need to head for the front of the ship. Uh, Kodiak. Oh, we're stuck. We're just going to jump. Oh, my gosh, it's so shallow. <laughs> It's great. There we go. Tsunami. There we go. Cyclone. Very good. If we can, we'll avoid uh, the crocodile there and go through here. Can I feed this while it's unconscious? Golden Scary. Oh, it took off. Dang it. <laughs> I, I didn't get the chance to see if it said I could or not. I love these rock formations. They're really cool. Oh, we've got some deeper water over here. We've got our armor on. I have a sword. Our crossbow is not loaded. That's a problem. Oh, we got crocodiles off the shore, too. We should probably take care of these guys as well. Oh, that hit. <laughs> Come on. I'm hitting the dang thing. It's just not dying. There we go. Here we go. No, 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 no. no. Shoot, just shoot. Get it over here. Just one more out to do it. There we go. How about that one way out there? I just don't want them getting in the way when we get into our fight. What is this sticking up out of the water right there, too? Cobra. 
Oh man, there's just all kinds of stuff. These islands are just all kinds of stuff that'll just kill you. I'll tell you. Looks like more of that stuff we just found that uh, I can't even remember the name of it now. The coal. The coal equivalent, I should say. Okay, we got some scorpions up here. Okay, Tsunami, why aren't you attacking? This is this is a cause for concern. What are, what are you on, anyways? Behavior. Uh, stance. Attack your target. We can't do that because we took her off of it once. So I can only do neutral. So I'm hoping she's going to get in on this. She's not going to attack, though, until I think she actually gets hit. So maybe I should be on one of them first. What we want to do... No, we're just going to go for it. We want to be on this side of this here. Kill. Kill them all. Take care of this one first. They've got those two. They almost got them. I hit the wrong key. Oh, yeah, we did it. <laughs> I hit the wrong key. F3. That's okay. Kodiak was healing while he was, while he was fighting. All right, I think we're good. All right. Shovel. Okay, those guys were a lot tougher, and there was a lot more of them as well, I noticed. Treasure time, people. 4,700 gold. Oh, look at that treasure chest, too. It's pretty. Oh! I'm encumbered, and that's a good thing. Kodiak, come. Come here, the Kodiak. Oh, why do they give us so much that we can't carry it? <laughs> it's so much. Can I put all this on him, really? And he'll be okay. All right, cool. We got it. That's a lot of money. 4,000. That's sweet. 4,700 gold. We got gold for a little while now. What else we got in here? Now I'm excited. That was exciting. It was fun. Oh, and I've got a level two. I should probably make sure everyone's healthy. Uh, I'm going to take my health up to 142. All right, you're just a little too close. <laughs> you're just, just a, nope, 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 nope. We want neutral. D dang it. Behavior. To low, low. There we go. All right. And Cyclone. Oh, how, how is your health? You're half dead. Okay, let's get to Cyclone next. Let's give her an F3. Let's get her healed up. I gotta think about this stuff. I don't, and that's when I get into trouble. So I don't know I could actually do this, but I'm actually force feeding uh, Kodiak here. You can see his health goes up a little bit faster by force feeding him, so it is like Ark in that regard. It's not very much, though. I imagine if I had the Prime on him, that would probably work much better, but his health is coming up with my help because I've got uh, Tsunami right now with the uh, uh, Nature's Cry. So if we can get him up a little bit further while we're waiting for Nature's Cry to cool down again, then we'll be good to go. Oh, it's an alpha rattlesnake. Wouldn't you know it? Nice. Points, though. Points. Good points. There we go. Beautiful, man. Look at you. Cody, yeah, coming up. Uh, I'm gonna keep giving him health till he gets to 700, I think. 
There goes another ray belly up over there. Oh man, that's that's oil. Um, where's that croc that was out here? There he is. Now the second one's over there messing around with some stuff too. Let's go over here. I'm hoping this isn't very deep. There is a croc right there. In, there's two crocs right there in the water. Let's go ahead and just... Whatever. <laughs> we don't need the oil that badly. There we go. What are they doing? Okay. All right. All right, guys. That's going to have to wrap up today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, if you did, <laughs> do hit the like button for me. Comment, subscribe, and share on the Radio Man 3 Have an awesome, fantastic, and a superb day. And I look forward to talking to you again next time. I got another level. Nice.